There's something about being in the hills and bubbles that go hand in hand. So I'm going off to check out some pink bubbles that I first tasted at Wine Australia in 2002. Bird in Hand was the name of an old gold mine near the winery. These giant blue silos are not full of fermenting grapes. Back when this place housed the dairy, the silos stored a mix of grain and, would you believe, beer byproducts to feed the cows. Happy cows. Bird in Hand have a great looking cellar door and restaurant which features some of their delicious olive oil from their olive grove. But today, I'm on a mission to meet winemaker Sam Scott and try one of my long-term favourites, the Bird in Hand Sparkling Pinot Noir. The look of a glass of bubbles really makes me feel like having a party, so... Oh, there's a, there's a, a lot of great connotations, oh, isn't yeah, there? It's, it's magnificent. The... Yeah, this is obviously one of your big cellars. Yes, uh, we find this our most popular wine. And, and the cellar door, uh, people always tend to leave with a little bit of a smile on their face. Absolutely. Wondering where the next party's coming from. That's a good way to start the, sure start the day. Strawberry aromas and flavours and a long, clean finish. It's great to see that the 2006 vintage is every bit as good as when I first tasted it. Cheers. Cheers. Sam's added a new fizz to the Bird in Hand bubbly range with something a little more mature and a little more complex. I love the colour of that. I love the colour. You see, this, this wine is it's made from the same grape, yes. Pinot Noir, as the one before, and I suppose it, it, the difference between them is uh, this one spends a lot of time, it does the method traditionale, as they say, in right. France. So it's fermented in this bottle and it spends time on its yeast lees. Went to bottle in 2002, right. so we're now drinking it in a beautiful time of its development. Lees is the name given to the yeasty sediment that settles in the neck of the upturned bottle. How do you get the lees out? You get it out, you freeze the bottom of the neck. Right. And then when it inverts, you pop the cap and it flies out. So you, you, you freeze the bottom here, turn it up that way, open the cork, and that bit comes out. Yes. And then what, you jam a cork in? Then you jam a cork in. That could be good fun. <laughs> I might do vintage after all. That sounds excellent. Cheers. Not sure if I like it or not, I better have another go. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> 